Friday. Welcome to another episode of Reveals. That's not on my schedule actually, so. Oh, hey, and it's like, hey. Good morning, online community. The online world, the digital world, not the IRL world, the complete opposite of the IRL, IRL world. I think today's episode is gonna be good. We have so much to reveal. Easter, Eid, self-preserving moisturizers. We've got bath products, we've got shower products, and shower gels, and bath bombs, and carrot stick. Well, we have a carrot stick. And so little time. So let's just jump right in. Oh, first up, follow the white rabbit. A returning favourite, a gorgeous smelling bath bomb with bergamot oil. For the Easter period last year, this was our number two best selling bath bomb. And it contains bergamot oil, bushu oil, and Sicilian lemon oil to make one's bath time quite bunny, hoppy, bouncy. Next up, Golden Egg, a bath bomb melt. A returning favourite, a cult classic, some might say. Smells like Honey, I Wash the Kids. It has olive oil in it, it has bergamot oil. And I think I said on the last episode that we talked about Golden Egg, that this was a, a disco in a bath, and I would stand by that today. Mm. Next up, Alien Bunny. It is a new bath bomb for this Easter range. This was actually designed by our inventor Michelle's daughter. Our little bunny It's just Maybe a bit mischievous. This is a bunny in an alien ship, and with inside this alien ship is a little paper cow abducting cows. I mean, who does that? The main ingredients in this bath bomb are bergamot oil, Sicilian lemon oil, and uh, carrot powder. This smells very citrusy, but like a good citrus, like a grapefruit, but like a grapefruit lemony citrus. My lovely friend, my comforter friend. Next up, a bath bomb, well, actually, three bath bombs in one that I'm very, very excited about. Hold on. Did you get Chris Bordy on that? This product contains potato starch, marshmallow root powder, and sodium alginate, which actually comes from seaweed, uh, and that is to add texture to the water. I think a really important bit of information that you must know is that this is comforter scented. Whoop, whoop. Should we get a dirty whiff on this one? Yeah. <laughs> I'm infused with cheap, cheap bath bomb. Next up, cheap, cheap bath bomb. A cute little bath bomb in the shape of a chick. It contains popping candy. So it gives you this nice little atmospheric pops in the bath. It has tapioca starch, which softens the water. It also has lime oil and bergamot oil and violet absolute. So it's kind of like a floral citrusy, but also a little bit grounding in there as well. Like it's. It's a really gorgeous mix, and as our producer described it, it's fit. Next up, Bunny Moon. Look at the design of this. Like, look how cute it is. A really interesting story about this bath bomb was that it was actually designed by one of our sales assistants in Nottingham. Shout out to Sylvia at Lush Nottingham for, you know, inventing this gorgeous product. I think, you, well, you've done an absolutely amazing job, so hats off to you. That's, I took my cap juice. It contains rice bran absolute, lime oil, and coconut milk powder. So, you know, if you're thinking that your skin needs a little break, you know, from the harsh reality of the outside world, and you need something that just looks gorgeous and is bunny shaped and is real Easter themed, then I totally recommend this bath bomb. I don't have um, baby rainbow carrots with me. Next up, baby rainbow carrots. They are a reusable bubble bar. It comes in red, orange, yellow, blue, another blue, purple and pink. It has bergamot oil, boucher oil, and carrot powder. They smell great, and just so you know, they smell like a fireworks bath bomb. <laughs> Next up, Hot Cross Bunny with the gingerbread EC. You know, this is irresistible. Look at how cute the little expression on the, on the Hot Cross Bunny is. This bubble bar has ginger powder, ginger oil, and Sicilian lemon oil. This fragrance was actually unknowingly suggested by one of our members on our Discord community. Someone in the Discord community said, I really miss gingerbread, the gingerbread fragrance. And our inventor, Michelle, saw that message on our Lush Discord and then actually put that fragrance into this bubble bar. So well done, Discord community member, 
X Peach X, and well done, Michelle. What a great little collaboration with the community that was. Next up, rainbows and waterfalls. Don't go chasing waterfalls. This soap has a new fragrance. It's called Ultraviolet. This smells really good. This product contains violet leaf, absolute, marshmallow root, and also fresh watermelon juice. It smells very violet-y, it's fit, it's got some gorgeous ingredients. I think it's gonna be a perfect soap companion. Next up, Rockstar Rabbit Soap. Now this is a community favorite, I know it is. I see it in all of the community, Lush community spaces. People love this fragrance and so do I. It smells a little bit candy-ish, smells like a little bit candy, but not quite as sweet as Snow Fairy. Contains fair trade organic cocoa butter, castor oil, and vanilla absolute. And it's got a gorgeous design because it's a rock star rabbit. Next one. Bum, ba, ba, da, bum, ba, ba. Golden egg is a vegan alternative to honey I wash the kids because this actually doesn't contain honey. Contains glycerin, bergamot oil, and Brazilian orange oil. Oh my god, I just I just think that if you haven't tried this before, golden egg shower gel before, I just think you you just are living in a world where you are missing something really important. Next up, Easter turtle. Oh, it makes some interesting noises. This smells very apple-y, and that's because it's got temptation the Temptation fragrance that we saw in Valentine's a couple of years ago. And now it's made its way to this gorgeous little... It contains bladder whack, seaweed infusion, myrrh resinoid, and orange blossom. It smells like apples, like really crisp apples. Next up, Fairy Realm Soap. It's really orangey, but like it, it, it smells like uh, like a freshly peeled orange, that's how good it smelt. Fair trade olive oil, sweet wild orange oil, and white fungus mushroom. When these mushrooms are combined with water, it creates a really, really lovely gel. It means it's very hydrating for the skin. Next up, Sticky Dates Body Lotion. Oh my goodness, it's here. Yes, it does smell as good as you hope it to, and yes, it does feel as good as you want it to. Mm. It's perfect, it's, it's perfection in a bottle. And it comes in a bottle, which means it is really, really easy to use. And I absolutely love that. And if this episode wasn't sticky enough, we've got Sticky Date Sugar Scrub. Woohoo! You can even, even when you open the pot, you can hear the exfoliation that you're gonna get. Exfoliating agent in this is Golden Castle Sugar. In summary, we have two gorgeous additions to the Sticky Date range. Now, I'm sorry, this is only for Easter, so you better make sure you get down, maybe pick up a couple bottles. You don't want to let this get away from you. I promise. This is Bunny Sheet Face Mask. Ooh. This face mask, because it's right under my nose, I can tell you it smells like sugar rose. It has pomegranate juice and pineapple juice to brighten the skin. These ingredients have been specifically chosen to leave your skin looking, I don't know, like a Hollywood superstar that you are. For best use with our face, or with our sheet face masks, please store them in the fridge because it keeps them fresh and it keeps them cool. So not only will it brighten your skin, it'll also reduce any swelling around your eyes and face. So it might reduce puffiness. So the more you know. Carrot stick, lip oil. Just like me, literally like me. Decadent, luxurious, and also I am a carrot stick. Note the hair color. Contains parsley seed oil, grapefruit oil, and organic castor oil and most importantly, carrot seed oil. So it's gonna leave your lips feeling very soft and moisturized. We have three gifts coming this Easter. We have Let's Be Excellent. This contains Follow the White Rabbit and Cheap Cheap. We have Happy Egg, which contains both the Golden Egg products in this year's Easter range, which is the Bath Bomb and Shell Gel. So a great choice if you are a Golden Egg lover. And the last one is Flower Bunny. Now this has some exclusives in it which are conga, shower jelly, and also the rainbow bubble bar. Next up, a new release for Eid. It's Oudes. Ooh. Now this has the fragrance of Goddess. This contains Jasmine Absolute, Osmanthus Absolute, Rose Oil, Sandalwood Oil, Oud Oil, 
I really, really want to put across here that these are really high-end ingredients. These are really, these ingredients are used in fine fragrances. These are gorgeous essential oils. They, one whiff and you'll be in love. And it will leave you feeling like an Udes. Udes will be releasing on these dates. As part of our Eid collection this year, there is also a gift. Now this gift contains Udes shower gel. It also contains a very exciting Crescent Moon soap. Well, it's soap in the shape of a Crescent Moon, and it has the Karma fragrance. There is also, within this gift, a Twilight bath bomb. Finally, an update on our self-preserving moisturizers. From the 28th of March, we will be replacing our entire core range of moisturizers with self-preserving versions of them instead. Now, we already sell self-preserving moisturizers, so it's not gonna be any change to you. And this will mean that there are no synthetic preservatives in your moisturizers, which is better for you, better for the, better for the world. Good news is that this will increase the actual lifespan of your product from six months to nine months. That's great. These are all the moisturizers that I'm talking about. Well, thanks very much for joining into this episode of Lush Reveals, where we took you through the new Easter products, the new bath, shower, the new Udes as part of the Eid range, and the little update to what's happening to our self-preserving moisturizers. Let us know in the comments what products that you're excited for. And, you know, make sure you join the Lush Discord because you never know, your suggestion for a product or a fragrance might make it into a seasonal range. Who knows? Bye. Listen, love. Mwah.